Okay, so when you're doing your state report, you'll see that the, the first slide right here, you just have your, your name of your state, your name, and when it's due. And then the very next slide is called your bibliography, where you found the information. So that means that wherever you get any information, you have to cite where you got that information because you borrowed that information. It's not from your head. So we have to give credit where credit is due or else that's called plagiarizing. So it says make sure you type each source you use in the box. So if you have a website you use, you have to put the URL there. Or if you have a book or an encyclopedia, you have to include every website that you use. So for example, I went down and I was working on my state bird. And it said, the state bird is the western meadowlark. Their back is brown and their chest is bright yellow with a black V on the chest. The meadowlark is known for its cheery, flute-like song. So, I got that from this site. So, uh, I used my own words. I did not copy and paste because that is plagiarism. So I have to cite that I used this source to get my information. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to control C to copy that URL. And then I'm going to go back to my bibliography page. And I've already got one there for another fact I used, but I'm going to click right here and I'm going to control V. And that is going to be one of the sites I used for the bird. This one right here above is another site I already use. But let's say you actually use a, an actual book, not something off the internet. The way that you would cite a book that you might use is you might want to, uh, you're going to want to type the author first. So let's pretend that the author's last name, um, I'm going to use a pretend book. So let's use, um, how about, Jameson uh, is his last name, and his first name is Harry, and the name of the book was called Oregon and the Basic Facts. And then I'm going to look up the copyright and where it's a book that was written in 2001. So when you, when you cite a book, you're going to make sure that you put the author, the name of the book, and the name of the book should be underlined. So I'm going to underline the name of the book and the copyright was in 2001. So that would be the book that I just used. Let's say I had another book that I need, that I used and the author's name was Spencer was the last name. Jennifer was the first name and the name of the book was Oregon, um, Oregon's main purpose. I don't know. I just made that up. And let's say this book was written in 1999, but the name of the book, I'm going to underline and there is that. So I bulleted each one. So every time I use a website, I have to copy the um, URL and paste it on the bibliography page. So let's say you're using this one, the research notes on how the state got its name and the state's nickname. So that's what I, um, I typed in the information here. And then I went back to the bibliography page and I pasted the URL from where I got it. This is very, very, very important that you keep track of every um, source you use or else you're going to have to go back and find what you used and put it in there after the fact and that's going to be much harder. So that is how you use your bibliography. The rest of your state report just make sure that you're including in your notes. Um, I don't really care if you use complete sentences or bullets 
but you want to make sure that you include everything with um, information. Remember that this part of the research is just getting your words. It's not about getting pictures yet. You are going to go back and do that after you found all your words. So do not take the time to go find pictures yet. This is just the words.